Hello friends, in this video we will understand analog divider using multiplier. So analog divider is a circuit in which the output voltage is proportional to the division of input voltages. If our input voltages are V1 and V2, then output voltage VO will be directly proportional to V1 upon V2 that is the division of input voltage or it may be V2 upon V1 depending on where we are applying V1 and V2. So, the techniques used for analog divider is using log anti-log amplifier and using multiplier. So, in our previous video, we have already seen the using, uh, analog divider using log anti-log amplifier. You can watch here on the by clicking I button or using multiplier, you can continue the video. So, and uh, before knowing uh, analog divider using multiplier you must know analog multiplier so basically the symbol used for analog multiplier is this one it has two inputs let it be x and y and here the output voltage vo it can be calculated say our voltage at x is vx and voltage applied at y is vy then our output voltage will be proportional to k times v1 upon sorry vx upon vy so this is our output for the analog multiplier now this is the circuit used for analog divider using multiplier so here you can watch the uh, multiplier we are used here it in feedback so multiplier is connected in the feedback loop of the op amp it is an inverting op amp Therefore, the input is applied to the inverting terminal and it is V1. Here, this V1 will work as a numerator. Here, V1 will work as a numerator and it is applied to the inverting terminal of op amp. Similarly, you can see this V2. This V2 will work as a denominator and it is applied to the one of input of multiplier. That is X input of the multiplier and the Y input of this multiplier is connected to the output voltage here this vy is equals to vo actually that is output voltage now uh, for derivation we should apply the kcl at this node now let this node be a and this node be v sorry this node be b and the voltage applied at node a is va and for a v at b it is vb so applying kcl at node b it is sum of incoming current equals to sum of outgoing current so only i1 is going toward the node b and i2 is leaving so i1 will be equals to i2 this is the kcl because this current will be zero if we consider this as an ideal op amp so to find uh, value of i1 and i2 definitely we should apply the ohms law that is v by r that is potential difference upon resistance so potential difference at this point is v1 minus vb because the direction of current is from v1 to vb so it is v1 minus vb upon r will be equals to i2 i2 is this voltage minus this voltage so it is vb minus vz upon r so this r and this r will get cancelled and therefore so further let it be the equation number one and if we apply further uh, the virtual ground concept because it is an inverting amplifier and in inverting amplifier we use virtual ground concept so using virtual ground concept va equals to vb equals to zero so apply putting value vb equals to zero in our equation number one if we put vb equals to 0 in equation number 1 we will get v1 equals to minus vz look here that vb v1 is equals to minus vz but we know that vz is the output of a multiplier and therefore we can write but vz is equals to now vz is the output of multiplier and it has two inputs and its output is k times vx vy so vx is v2 
and vy is vo so vz is equals to k times v2 multiplied by vo now putting the value of vz in equation number 1 we will get v1 equals to minus k v2 into vo we have to find the output voltage vo so vo will be equals to v1 upon minus k times v2 so this k is constant therefore we can say that output voltage is directly proportional to v1 upon v2 so this is the equation for output voltage of a divider and here it is proved that the output voltage is directly proportional to division of input voltage thus the circuit works as a divider thank you